So good morning to you all. So this is the first day of economic session. Before coming to this class, you must have different viewpoints in your mind as to what we need to be studying in economic section for UPSC preparation. Uh, today, I'll be discussing with you all regarding what are the requirements for a student to prepare for a subject like economics. What are the expectations of UPSC for your prelims exam, for your mains, and at times, this subject helps you in your interviews also. Apart from it, we'll also be discussing this syllabus for the prelims, for the mains, and we'll also be discussing that what will be the plan for economics at Unique Academy for you all. So each and every information I like to share with you all so that you can make up your mind and accordingly you can start working on it. First of all, to, they, to those who have studied economics, they know or they must, be they must be having a feeling that economics is very boring and the teachers who teach economics are also boring. Am I right? I think most of you are smiling and I can well uh, understand your intention. Anyway, let me tell you, the myth which you are carrying today about economics and economics teachers, I promise you all that when you'll be attending the sessions in the next six to seven months, you will realize the realities are different. Economics as a subject is interesting. And I tell you, that when you want to make any subject interesting, you need to go much near to it rather than moving away from it. When we start loving and have lust for someone, you need to go near to it. So as a subject, I tell you, I know that there are certain technicalities in this subject. This subject will be different from other subjects. And so in accordance, you need to make up, make, up, make up your mind in such a way that you can understand this particular subject. And I assure you all that I'll make this subject interesting to you all based on the requirements of UPSC. The next important point I want to mention today is that whatever the subjects are in GS, whether you like or don't like, you have to like it. Till today, you must have certain conception that I do not like history, I do not like geography, I like mathematics, I like physics, I like A, I don't like B. And that's why till today, your larger efforts were based on these, I mean, perspectives. If I like history, I'll go for it. If I don't like geography, I'll not go for it. But my dear friend from today, as I told you, 
whatever the subjects are the part of general studies aap chaho ya na chaho aapko chahna padega so you do not have any option option optional subjects hai na aapke gs mein aapke liye general studies mein jo bhi subjects hai aapke liye optional nahi hai so what we need to do we need to develop interest we need to develop insights into a particular subject we need to read more and more we need to work on the fundamentals of the subject we need to ask the teachers we need to utilize the resources which are there the only thing is that once you start getting the concepts of this particular subject when the concepts are clear to you this subject will become the most interesting subject you have ever experienced so the first thing which i'll be focusing upon is that i'll try to make first of all the concepts fundamentals related to this subject very clear to you so at the initial at the start of the lectures in the initial phase we will be largely focusing upon the concepts once you are familiar with the concepts so definitely you can start understanding maxims articles in the maxims you can start understanding the articles of news papers and once you will start understanding so i mean day by day you will be coming much closer to this particular subject so once that is done you can start writing answers you can start developing perspective regarding different issues being faced by the indian economy also so the first part which will be focusing upon is i mean at the initial of the lectures will be working on i mean fundamentals conceptual clarity under this will be discussing national income under national income i'll be discussing you all the meaning of national income the meaning of gdp meaning of gnp what are the methods of calculating gdp uh, or national income what do you mean by gdp at factor cost what do you mean by gdp at market price what do you mean by nominal gdp what do you mean by real gdp so all these things will be discussing under national income apart from it we'll also be discussing about i mean what are the methodology of calculating national income what do you mean by income method value added method expenditure method how how can we analyze when we say economic growth how we can analyze when we say india gdp is growing or not growing india gdp is expanding or contracting so i mean not only mugging up the terms and terminology what i'll be ensuring that you are able to apply this particular terms and terminology i mean so as to understand and analyze different concepts regarding economics once that is done once that is done so afterwards i'll be taking up topic called inflation under inflation we'll be discussing about the meaning of inflation types of inflation what do you mean by demand pull inflation 
What do you mean by cost push inflation? What are the reasons behind demand pull inflation in India? What are the reasons behind cost push inflation in India? Then we'll also be talking about different forms of inflation. What do you mean by when we say creeping inflation, hyperinflation, reflation, stagflation? Understood? So all these terms will be studying, I mean, under inflation. Apart from it, we'll also be discussing how do we measure inflation in India? What do you mean by wholesale price index? What do you mean by consumer price index or retail price index? What do you mean by households inflationary expectancies? What do you, how we can overcome inflation in our country? And if we are also aligning this particular subject with the current affairs, then we can also understand why today the global world is facing inflation. Because in economics, what matters most is that whether we are able to align the core topics with the contemporary sewage or not. So if today different economies are facing inflation, so accordingly, I'll be aligning the subject, I mean, so that you can understand the, I mean, the sewage being faced by the world economy also. And you all know, that whether it's USA, whether it's European markets, everybody is in facing the heat of price rise. Under inflation, we'll also be talking about what are the impact of inflation? What are the impact of inflation on debtors? What are the impact of inflation on creditors? What are the impact of inflation on fixed income earners? What are the impact of inflation on lower straight up society? And what are the impact of inflation on foreign exchange market? or exports, imports, that's what we'll be discussing under, I mean, inflation. Did you get, are you aligned here? Once inflation is being done, I mean, under fundamentals, uh, we'll uh, be talking about money and banking. Under money and banking, I'll be talking about the different forms of money. What do you mean by, uh, I mean, fiat money? What do you mean by fiduciary money? Uh, what do you mean by when we say demand for money? What do you mean by transaction demand, uh, precautionary motive, I mean, a speculative motive? We'll also be talking about what is different supply of money, different forms of supply of money, whether supply of money is a stock concept or a flow concept. How do you measure money supply in the economy? What do you mean by reserve money? I am one, M2, M3, M4. Understood? That's what are the different forms of money supply. That's what we'll be talking under money supply. Then under money and banking, we'll also be talking about the concepts related to bank and banking. We'll be largely talking about role and functions of Reserve Bank of India. We'll be talking about monetary policy. Uh, what are the monetary policy tools? We'll be talking about different tools of monetary policy, right from repo, reverse repo, SLR, CRR, I mean, margin standing facility. I mean, all these monetary policy tools will be discussing under banking. Apart from it, there are other banking issues also. There are different issues being faced by banks today. I mean, if the banks are facing the problem of non-performing assets, so definitely, I mean, we need to study the non-performing assets and types of NPAs also. Uh, we need to study what are the gross NPA. We need to study what is the net NPA. We need to study what are substandard assets. We need to study what are doubtful assets, what are loss assets. All these things will be studying under, I mean, money and banking. And other issues which will come up will be taken as a part of, I mean, this particular topic. Once that is done, we'll be talking about public finance. Under public finance, you know, I mean, that we'll be talking about taxation and government expenditure, different forms of taxation, direct tax, what are the different forms of direct tax, what are the different forms of indirect tax, uh, what are the different slabs under GST, uh, whether GST is destination-based tax or consumption-based tax, that's what we'll be talking about. And under uh, public uh, finance, we'll also be talking about budget, what are the different components of budget? When we say budget, what do you mean by revenue receipts? What do you mean by capital receipts? What do you mean by different forms of deficits? When we say revenue deficit, what does it mean? When we say uh, fiscal deficits, what does it mean? When we say primary deficits, when we say effective revenue deficits. So th these different forms of deficits will be studying under budget. 
Once deficit is being done, we need to study the debt management also. I mean, you must have, must be reading in the newspaper that, I mean, uh, the opposition is criticizing the government, I mean, central government that overall debt of the country has increased. So you, you need to understand what are the different forms of central government liabilities. What are the, what do you win by public debt? What are the internal aid? What is the external aid? That's what we'll be studying under public finance. Once this particular topic is done, we'll also be talking about I mean, something called financial markets. So we need to study what do we win by financial markets? What are the role of financial markets in the country's growth and development? So we need to study money market, the relevance of money market in a developing economy like India. I mean, what are the different instruments which are there in the money market? When we talk about commercial paper, what does this mean? When we talk about certificates of deposits, what does this mean? Uh, what, does, uh, what do you mean by treasury bills? What do you mean by money market mutual funds? What do you mean by CBLO? What do you mean by non-convertible debentures? I mean, all these are instruments of money market. That's what we'll be discussing under, I mean, money market, under financial markets overall. Once that is done, then we'll be talking about capital market. Capital market may up to Pitauga, primary market, hota hai, secondary market. In secondary market, shares are traded. We need to study what do you mean by BAC? We need to study what do you mean by NAC? What do you mean by BAC Sensex? What do you mean by Nifty? Uh, uh, what do you mean by IPO? What do you mean by FPO? What do you mean by bonus issue? What do you mean by right issue? What do you mean by private placements? These are, I mean, certain uh, uh, components of, I mean, primary market. So I'll be talking about it at length about uh, financial markets because this topic becomes very, very important and a bit technical also. Students are very anxious about knowing how the stock market moves up and down. Uh, what are the uh, reasons behind volatility in the stock market? So each and everything we'll be discussing when we'll be discussing this particular topic under fundamentals. Apart from it, we'll I'll be uh, also be discussing a lot about derivative market also because this is uh, uh, a market which is gaining importance in India. I'll be talking about what do you mean by forward, what do you mean by futures, what do you mean by option, what do you mean by call option, what do you mean by put option, what do you mean by American option, what do you mean by European option? I mean, all these are uh, uh, tools. I mean. Uh, under derivative markets, that's what we'll be discussing. We'll also be talking about forex market and bond market also. I mean, because I mean, time and again, questions are uh, questions in prelims are being asked from bond, and this bond market, I mean, behaves like James Bond. I mean, altogether, most of the students, I mean, got confused, and that's why I'll be taking this particular subject uh, topic. I mean in detail so that my students are able to answer any question which comes related to the bond market. Once financial market is done, I mean, we'll be taking up uh, foreign exchange market and balance of payment. I mean, um, what are the reasons if our currency uh, uh, exchange rate is $1 is equal to 82? I mean, in 2008-9, if you talk about our exchange rate with US dollar was near about $1.38-39 rupees. Now, what are the reasons why our exchange rate has moved so high? I mean, one dollar is equal to 82 or 81. Whether that is good for Indian economy or not. Why this currency or exchange rate fluctuates? What do you mean by appreciation of currency? What do you mean by depreciation of currency? I mean, all these things we'll be discussing under foreign exchange market. I'll also be talking about, I mean, what do you mean by nominal exchange rate? What do you mean by real exchange rate? What do you mean by nominal effective exchange rate? What do you mean by real effective exchange rate? That's what we'll be also be discussing. Once that is done, I'll also be talking about key, uh, when currency appreciates or depreciates, what are its impact on exports and imports? Because that becomes very, very important for you to analyze and understand as, as a student of, I mean, uh, when you are pre preparing for UPSC, that's what you need to understand the reason behind it. Ki aapki currency appreciate hoti hai, depreciate hoti hai. To uska export import per effect kya hota hai, overall Indian economy per impact kya hota hai. Uski baad, afterwards, we'll also be discussing about, I mean, uh, 
uh, different methods of I mean, exchange rate systems in India. When we say fixed exchange rate system, what does this mean? Flexible floating exchange rate, managed floating, crawling pig, dirty pig, clean uh, pig. I mean, all these things we will be studying. I mean, I'm giving only, uh, uh, I'll say, introductory beat of each and every topic so that you can understand, you can have this clear in your mind as to what and how we'll be uh, uh, studying I um, mean, these different topics under this subject called economics. Under balance of payment, uh, I'll be uh, those who uh, under balance of payment will be talking about the different economic transactions from our country to the rest of the world, which will be talking about, I mean, uh, current account, we'll be talking about capital account, we'll be talking about balance of trade, we'll be talking about uh, balance of payment deficits, we'll be talking about autonomous transactions, we'll be talking about accommodating transactions, we'll be talking about foreign exchange reserves, foreign currency assets, uh, what is the role of IMF, this is what we are going to understand under conceptual part. Once this is done, then we'll also be talking about certain international financial institutions, I mean, where is certain technicalities involved, we will also be talking about I mean, something about what are the role and functions of WTO today. I mean, uh, multilateral trade versus bilateral trade in context of international trade. That's what we'll also be focusing upon. We'll also be talking about uh, the recent, I mean, WTO meeting which took place in Geneva and the earlier uh, ministerial uh, uh, Conferences also will be focusing upon right from, I mean, Uruguay round till today, we'll be discussing in detail each and every, I mean, uh, each and every uh, recommendations made by, I mean, WTO, because this becomes very, very important for you, not only uh, for economics, GS paper three, but it also important for you when you prepare for international relations, because uh, there also this particular topic will help you. Uh, once that is done, I need to uh, make you understand about SDR also, a special drawing right, which is part of IMF, I mean, International Reserve Assets, International Monetary Funds. We need to also study International Monetary Funds' ke functions, kya hote hai, ki what is the role and relevance of International Monetary Fund when we talk about Pakistan is facing, I mean, crisis, Sri Lanka is facing a crisis, Maldives, I mean, date has increased to a larger extent. So in such situation crisis like situation faced by few south asian countries how uh, imf can intervene in order to come out with a i mean possible solution for those economies to recover then we'll also be talking about uh not so very a uh, good topic called garibi berozgari i mean they are part of social issues also but then these topics are very very important so we'll be largely discussing about poverty we'll be discussing about unemployment and once the basics and concepts part are done then we'll be focusing upon topics related to the mains so i mean we'll be talking about five-year plans we'll be talking about different five-year plans till now uh, we'll be talking about the role and relevance of planning commission uh, in 90s and role and relevance of Niti Aayog today. We'll also be talking about, I mean, uh, uh, different uh, features or different recommendations made during different FIPER plans. Once that is done, we'll also be talking about inclusive growth and issues arising from it, uh, meaning of inclusive growth. Uh, what do you mean by social inclusion? What do you mean by political inclusion? What do you mean by financial inclusion? Whether India has attained inclusive growth or not? What are the government policies and schemes in order to attain inclusive growth? So that's what we'll be discussing. And uh, once that is done, then we'll be talking about resource mobilization. Uh, again, a topic under, uh, I mean, uh, a topic very important for the main exam, GS paper three. and. Uh, once that is done, we'll be talking about on investment models, uh, investment in infrastructure, different investment models which has been adopted by India right from independence. So we'll be talking about Harodomer model, we'll be talking about Mahalnavis model, we'll be talking about Lewis model, we'll be talking about Gandhian vision of development or in investment. We'll be talking about Nehruvian uh, method or the Nehruvian vision of development. 
So that's what we'll be talking uh, under investment. Apart from it, we'll also be talking about different other models called triple P models, which become very important for investment in infrastructure. So public-private partnership models. Uh, under this, we'll be talking about different types of model. We'll be talking about BOT. We'll be talking about TOT. We'll be talking about hybrid annuity model. We'll be talking about other set of triple P models, which will come now, uh, I mean, with the government, any type of model with the government of India will implement or has implemented, we'll be discussing about that particular model. And the last part of GS Paper 3 will be talking about, I mean, agriculture and its issues. Different issues, right, from uh, agriculture pricing policy to marketing policy to subsidies to any other issue being faced by Indian ag uh, agriculture. That's what we'll be discussing. But then, though, list is not over why the list is not over because we need to if in economics we are not updating ourselves uh, with current affairs so i mean our efforts will be half-hearted and that's why i mean continuous sessions for current affairs in economics will be carried forward will be taken so as to update you uh, about the contemporary issues in Indian economy. And that's why a special program is being designed by me uh, uh, for students to prepare themselves, to prepare them for current affairs in Indian economy. And that is Indian Economy Mentoring Program, under which I'll be uh, discussing the current affairs related to economics. I'll be asking you to write answers, practice answers writing. I'll be asking you, uh, to uh, uh, to prepare yourself for prelims. So there will be test, uh, prelims-based practice test also, mains-based practice test also, so that a coordinated and holistic approach uh, inputs can be provided to you so that you can, I mean, prepare yourself for this particular subject. So that's what uh, uh, will be covered. I mean, uh, at Unique Academy for you all uh, as part of this particular subject. And I tell you, this subject, as I told you, is very comprehensive. And I must tell you that unless and until you make efforts, see, there are certain subjects which where, I mean, an honest effort from the students are also very required. This subject is not one way, wherein if I am uh, discussing something and you are by sitting, you cannot understand. You need to make, I mean, equal and holistic effort from your side also in order to understand these particular topics. At the beginning only, I tell you that uh, this subject is such that which require input from the students also. I can well understand that. Let's say if I discussed a particular topic to you and... Uh, it may, might happen that you may not be able to understand in the first instance. But then, when you go at your home, read the textbook related to it, go, come back tomorrow, and again ask me if you do not understand. See, it's you who need to take initiative in order to understand the concepts related to this subject. And trust me, I promise you all that I will not be behind But then the trigger should come from you. The spark should come from you. And you can find and you can ask from the, your friends, those who have passed, that what inputs are being provided to them as far as this particular subject is concerned. If I talk about the resources related to this particular subject, those who will be attending my lectures, so I know this subject is very technical. That's why I try to give them dictated notes in the class. I don't rely on running notes because I'm afraid of the fact that if a single concept you write or you are not able to write, then definitely when you will be going through that particular concept, so the meaning of that particular sentence might change and you can get a, I mean, uh, uh, you, you, you will not be getting the, I mean, right meaning of that particular concept. So, this uh, considering the subject to be technical, I'll be giving you dictated notes, I mean, largely for the fundamentals and concepts related topics. 
So you will find that I will be giving you notes regarding uh, dictated notes. I mean, after making one understand each and every topic, each and every topic under national income, I'll ask you to write uh, after. Uh, uh, and this is not only related to national income for each and every topic under, I mean, fundamentals and concepts, I'll be giving you dictated notes. There will be certain concepts, uh, sorry, there will be certain part of economics which are largely factual in nature. So there, I do not give too much importance. Understood? Uh, in the class, I'll be asking you the source or study material for you all. I'll be giving you study material to you regarding that particular topic, which is largely factual, which is largely descriptive. And uh, I'll ask you to study. And if you will find any difficulty, you can come back and ask me. Most of the time, I tell you that I'll be emphasizing too much on technical and analytical part. Because those are the areas of concern where most of the students lack. So the factual part, I will not be, because you are now matured enough to, I mean, go through the facts and you can mug up. So I may not be adding, I may not be able to add much value to you there. But as far as analytical part is concerned, as far as the area where level of difficulty is very high, where I know that my students will be facing difficulty in understanding that particular concept, so definitely the, uh, there in those topics, I'll be giving larger emphasis, larger time also in the class. So a study material, one thing I'll be giving you dictated notes. Apart from it, you'll be getting study material from Unique Academy or for the mains and other sets of study materials. I'll be giving you, I mean, uh, the uh, summary of economic survey also. And I didn't mention you that I'll be also taking up, I mean, discussions on union budget and economic survey as a part of current affairs. Understood? So these are things which I'll be covering. These are the things, uh, these are the set of study materials or resources which will be provided to you from, the, from our side. Now, what are the resources apart from which I'll be giving you, you will be focusing upon. You please write the names of the books and magazines for I mean, this subject. See, at the beginning, please do not uh, go for any reference book. Uh, no need to go for reference book when you have joined class. So, strictly follow. NCRT of 11th and 12th, NCRT of 11th and 12th. So you will be getting three textbooks of 11th and 12th. One will be based on microeconomics, another will be on macroeconomics, and the third, third one is named as Indian Economic Development. Again, I'm repeating microeconomics, macroeconomics and Indian economic development. Now, you need to read macroeconomics and Indian economic development, I mean, I mean, line by line. So not a single sentence you can skip when you'll be studying Indian economy and macroeconomics. But for microeconomics, you need to only refer those topics which I'll be taking up in the class. Understood? For microeconomics, you need not to refer all the books. You should only refer only that part of microeconomics which I'll be covering in the class. That's all. Apart from it, from today itself, you will be religiously following, studying, newspaper that is Indian Express. Indian Express. Don't go with Hindu for economics right now because most of the time that will create confusions rather than uh, convincing you. Understood? So you should go certain words. I mean, when you'll be referring Indian Express, I mean, I'm talking pertaining only to economics, economics and business sections. I'm not talking about other subjects. So for this particular subject to start with, 
you please refer business section or economic section of Indian Express. And please ensure that even if you do not understand, you will be ready. So start from today and take a note there also that in the coming days when each and every concept will be taught to you. So when you'll be taught the concepts related to public finance, money and banking, uh, foreign exchange, so definitely, I mean, that will be an intervention tool and that will help you in understanding the new paper also over a period of time. So let's say today, if you are only able to understand 20% of that particular article, I can assure you that, I mean, in the coming days or months, you will be able to, that percentage of understanding will definitely increase depending upon now you are worse clear with the concepts. The reason why you are not able to understand the economics and business section of any newspaper is that you do not know the concepts related to it. So once in the class, these fundamentals or concepts will be taught to you. So definitely you will be in a position to understand, I mean, the larger part of uh, a larger part of the newspaper also. And once you start understanding the articles of the newspaper, I mean, you will like, you start liking economics and you start lacking the economics teacher also till today you consider to be a boring teacher. Don't go with other newspapers. Once you are confident that I'm able to understand Indian Express, come to me, then I'll be telling you how you can go through selected articles of Hindu or Economic Times or Financial Express. So once you are done with, once you are convinced that now I'm in a position to understand articles of Indian Express, so come to me, we'll be having one-to-one -one interaction and there I'll be asking you, suggesting you that henceforth you can go for selected articles of Hindu or Economic Times or financial express in order to increase your in-depth knowledge about this particular subject. Now, magazine, as far as magazine is concerned, I mean, uh, all together, Yojana and Kuru Chetra, nothing else for now. Yojana and Kuru Chetra, nothing else for now. I mean, aap ut nahi padlo to bahut baat, bahut badi baat. Why I am not overburdening you is that you need to study other subjects also. So if a strategy should be that I have told you that general studies may as a name of that you have a subject which hold up. Understood. Whether you like or not like you have to like. It's like Indian husbands and wife post marriage. <laughs> Understood. So, I mean, you do not have any option for it. Just uh... so once. Similarly, I want to tell you. Once you have decided to marry your PSE, now you do not have any option that whether you like history or you not like geography. Understood? So you need to marry each and every subject. Understood? You need to start loving that particular subject. Then only it will give a desired result where you can become an IS or IPS or IFS or whatever is your choice. Now, this was the first part of my discussion for this particular lecture. Uh, the other part is that what you need to do and what are the expectations. First of all, as I started the discussion wherein I told you that we'll be emphasizing too much on fundamentals for you all. It's very, very important that 
you will start working on the fundamentals. While working on the fundamentals, don't simply read, don't blindly read the text or any study material or any study resource. What you need to do that if you are investing 10 minutes your precious time in reading, at least ensure that equivalent amount of time you need to invest in thinking about what you have read. So let's say you read the whole extract about national income. And after half an hour, you are of the view that I have completed the reading. Now you start analyzing that after one hour of giving inputs, how much you have absorbed, you will find that the absorption level is very, very low. And that is not required in economics. In economics, it is being required that each and every paragraph which you have referred of that particular topic, you have given a thought over it or not. If I'm reading something on inflation, if a paragraph about inflation I read, then I need to have anxiety to ask myself as to what do you mean by inflation? How it will be affecting me? How it will be affecting a farmer? How it will be, how it will be affecting a poor fellow? How it will be affecting my exchange rate? What will be its impact on export and import? So, larger part is that you should always be asking yourself, I mean, what, how, why, when, I mean, all these questions you need to ask yourself after reading a paragraph. So blind reading will not do, will not help. What will help is that you need to ask yourself that whether this paragraph, by reading this, whether I'm able to get answer for this or not, whether I'm able to get answer for this or not, whether I'm able to get answer for this or not, and if not, then read again. So, whenever you are reading, referring any books, magazine, you need to give equal amount of time in developing a critical thinking about that paragraph also. Not only this, let's say this was the third paragraph of that particular chapter. You need to correlate the third paragraph with the second paragraph. The second paragraph mein kya padha? Or how I can correlate the contents of the third paragraph with the second paragraph? See, this type of sincere and serious reading is required. And unless and until you do that, the road to UPSC will not be easy. And take my words, if we'll be reading like this, you should go for ninth hour. You are completely exhausted. So when people say, sir, I am studying 14 hours, it, it is not required. What is required is that ki how much you have absorbed. Consistent and continuous efforts is required. Rather than effort jahan par ki aaj tum yahan par gaye aur kal tum yahan par fall huye. This volatility like stock market or foreign exchange market is not required. So one day, somebody will say ki sir, I wake up whole night and study. And tomorrow you sleep the whole day. 
not required. Understood? So most of the time I tell you such type of uh, approach should not be uh, taken forward, should not be practiced. Uh, you need to take uh, care of all these things. And once you'll be taking care of this, so definitely you'll find that things are becoming very easy for you, very normal for you. Next important point I want to tell you and make it, you can write it somewhere also. Most of the students come to me, sir, I completed NCRT, what I need to do. And I honestly told them, go and again refer it. Do you know the reason why I say that? The reason why I force them to read again is because I know that they're given a blind reading to it without any critical thinking. Developing a thought over it. So, unless and until in economics you do not read sincerely, consistently, you will not be able to score good marks. See, the questions which come in economics, those are questions which a general student also can write. But then, if you want to score good marks, so definitely you need to develop economic insights into the answers which you are writing. So, as I told you, how to read. Whenever you will be reading, take a notebook there also. Keep a, a pen with you also. So, after reading a paragraph, when we starting thinking about that particular paragraph, you need to note down certain important points. Follow table manners or I'll say a study table manners, not food table manners. Or a study table manners, I always that sit straight Take a chair, comfortable, and then study rather than lying on a bed and you are studying. Or you know that the way you study, how body demands relaxation. When you are on the table, the body says that if you are on the bed, it will be good. फिर उसके बाद बॉडी को रिलैक्सेशन मिला तो फिर बॉडी कहता है कि थोड़ा सा लेट जाते तो अच्छा होता फिर बॉडी डिमांड्स कि थोड़ा सा पिलो के सहारे हो जाते तो अच्छा होता और फिर क्या होता है गुड मॉर्निंग सी यू रिमेंबर दैट बॉडी विल ऑलवेज डिमांड्स रिलैक्सेशन बट देन what is my requirement? That is important. Each and every day of yours is very precious to you right from today. And when we are really serious about it, we'll ensure that each and every single minute which is passing now is my precious and I need to analyze whether I have had value in that particular time period or not. Don't follow friend's philosophy. Friend's philosophy nahi follow karna hai. Friend's philosophy matlab ek jo aapka dost hoga wo aakar bolega ki main to 14 hours padta hon. Don't blindly follow him. Wo uski body hai, uski requirement usko padne do na. I do have good, very good study at my material. You need to strictly follow it. When you are changing from one source to another, please come and interact with me. Discuss with me before switching. 
there are good textbooks on this particular subject but then i would have asked you to write such names of the textbooks also but uh, with the reason why did i did not ask you to refer is because this is not the right time for it for me to suggest that particular book the set of study materials or resources which i told you those are more than enough for you to i mean clear upsc it's like minimum guarantee program but definitely when you will be commanding over those i'll be asking you to take up certain topics not you need not to go through whole the book through uh, uh, the whole book but then i'll be asking you to a selected topics from very good textbooks by very good authors where you can develop different dimensions or perspective related to it so i do have many good textbooks with me also but then jitna maine bola hai aap utna hi refer karna see don't take shortcuts शॉर्टकट्स का मतलब मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ कि एक दिन आपका दोस्त आएगा जो मैंने बोला फ्रेंच फिलोसफी और वो बोलेगा कि इस पर्टिकुलर मैगजीन में तो आई मीन ईच एंड एवरीथिंग इज बीइंग एक्सप्लेन्ड और टेन पेजेस में यू कैन मास्टर दिस सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड इंडियन इकोनॉमी मैं बोल रहा हूँ वैसे पढ़ोगे तो एक क्वेश्चन भी तुम आंसर नहीं कर पाओगे इन रिलेट्स अंडरस्टूड डोंट एवर दैट ट्राई टू एब जॉब दैट सुसाइड कैप्सूल उसको मैं क्या बोलता हूं वो कैसा कैप्सूल है सुसाइडल जो दस पेजेज में रहता है खा जाओ और यू विल बी मास्टरिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट कॉल इंडियन इकोनॉमी ऐसा रहता तो मुझे तुमको यहाँ क्यों जरूरत रहती और मुझे यहाँ क्यों जरूरत रहती कि दस पेजेज पढ़ जाने से एक इंडियन इकोनॉमी कमांड कर लो डोंट एवर टेक दैट सुसाइडल कैप्सूल हार्डवर्क इज ओनली दी स्मार्ट वर्क आई टेल यू लोग बोलते हैं स्मार्ट वर्क हार्ड वर्क इज ओनली दिस स्मार्ट वर्क फॉर यूपीएससी फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट एंड दैट्स व्हाई सिंस दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लास आई एम टेलिंग यू कि डोंट टेक शॉर्टकट्स टेक टाइम डोंट बी इन अस्ट आई नो दैट टुडे इफ विल बी गोइंग थ्रू न्यूज पेपर आधे घंटे के बाद आपको लगेगा कि नींद आ रही है और कैसे भी करके इफ यू स्पेंड टू आवर्स इन रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर उसके बाद आप सोचोगे तो यार मुझे तो कुछ समझ ही में नहीं आया और मुझे मेरे दो घंटे चले गए सर ने कैसा सजेशन दिया बट ट्रस्ट मी ये जो आपकी सिचुएशन आज होगी कभी बीस साल पहले मुझे भी हुआ करता था और आज तो आपके पास यू डू हैव लॉट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन विद यू यू आर ओवर बट इन विद इंफॉर्मेशन वी हैव स्ट्रगल विथ की हमें कुछ कहीं से मिल जाए कि जहां पर एक कंसेप्ट की क्लैरिटी हो जाए रिमेंबर आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑल्सो कि द डे वेयर इन द कंसेप्ट विल बी टॉट टू यू यू विल फाइंड रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर हैज बिकम इजी एंड लेस टाइम कंज्यूमिंग टू यू डोंट गिव अप ऐसा मत करना कि अभी नहीं समझ में आ रहा है तो छोड़ दे गिव टाइम टू इट लेट इट कंज्यूम मोर टाइम ऑफ योर टूडे टूमोरो इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट दैट यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल्सो एंड द टाइम कंजम्पन विल ऑल्सो बी रिड्यूस्ड the next important point which i want to you all to focus upon is that don't ever go by this notion ki mujhe prelims to 2026 mein dena hai 2025 mein dena hai main abhi news paper kyun padh raha this is also suicide please all these things do not keep in mind i'll tell you why 
what are the reasons as far as this particular subject is concerned and why you should not go for it? Uh, why you should not do it? Tell me, if there are certain articles, please, uh, if there are certain articles related to poverty or unemployment. So today, if you are reading newspaper, you have gone through a article by Mr. X or Mr. Y. So you will be getting one dimension of that particular article. After 10 days, again, some articles has come up, articles have come up related to this particular topic and by some other author called Y and Z. So definitely now we'll be getting multi-dimensional view of that particular topic or not. That's what is the importance of, I mean, reading newspapers. So over a period of time, the more you will be reading newspapers, so today you have started reading newspapers. So in the next one year, you will be getting a different multidimensional perspective of the topic. And trust me, when you will start writing answers. So let's see, you have read 10 articles of a particular topic. Can't we expect that itna apne sincerely pada ta kus to information percolate okay when you will be writing answers. In comparison to when you will be referring a book on poverty, you may not go, you may not get too much dimensions. Number one, you may not get the current developments in this particular topic because book ho sakta hai ki old edition or new bhi edition hoga ho book. To bataiye, agar manji six month pehle kuch government ki report aaye, recommendations aaye, to automatically you may not get that insights in those particular books which you can get in newspaper. And that's why for students appearing for UPSC, I mean, newspaper becomes most important. Most important. At the same time, I do not say that you should not refer a book for basics and fundamentals. You can refer my notes also or resources being given at Unique Academic also for fundamentals. But developing a multi-dimensional view of a, of a particular subject or a particular topic, you need to go through, I mean, newspapers on a very serious note, whether even though you are will be appearing for prelims 2025 or 26, you need to go through. Now, what will be the challenges which you will be following, facing? Sir, samaj mein nahi aara. Sir, nind aari. Challenges. Sir, bohu time chala jara, time in email bar. Time name mil para, is ka to solution mere pars nahi. Time name mil para, is ka matlab, you are not managing the time to solve. Dusra, do batu ka solution hai mere pars, wherein I can intervene and help you out. If you do not understand a single thing, Whenever you are reading newspaper or magazine, take a paper, take a pen, take a marker and underline the important points which you are going through. Underline the terms and terminology also which you have come across in the newspaper or in that particular article. Go through Google, search it, try to understand. And even though you do not understand, next class, you can come to me with that particular newspaper and you can interact with me. These you can do on a gradual basis. I mean, day-to-day -day basis. I, I will encourage you to go. Trust me, if you are going through newspaper and if in a week you are getting to know one terminology also in throughout the year you will be able to develop insights on 52 terms and when you can develop 52 terms i can bet on it that you have commanded over 25 percent of the indian economy 52 terms i'm talking about so each and everything which i'm talking about i am there for you I'll be there with you. Definitely that at the initial stage also I told you, I mean, the spark should come from you. The trigger should come from you.
at the initial stage you do it like this trust me you know english much better than me and i can bet on it that at least today also if you'll be going through the new papers seriously you can understand at least 20% of that particular article so when we'll be starting economics lecture each and every topic jo fundamentals mein pehle is wajah se hi leta hu so that you can start understanding and analyzing i mean new papers and magazines also because economics issues are be difficult in order to understand without having clarity of the fundamentals and concepts once you'll be getting through you will be understanding that part also now <clears throat> the next part of our discussions will be i'm again telling you ki maine kya cover kiya the first part of the discussion was related to what we'll be focusing upon here the second part of discussion i told you that what are the resources which you have to refer and the third part i am covering what you should do and what you should not do under this i told you that you should not follow friends philosophy you should follow all those study materials which i have told you if you are switching from one source to another you please come and discuss interact i told you the relevance and importance of new paper for you don't ever think that if you are appearing for 2025 to 6 mahine pehle ke news paper se ho jayega news paper sirf current affairs ke liye nahi hai news papers reading is only to develop different insights about a particular issue because most of the articles are written by different authors different experts and when we go when you will be going through those articles you will be developing a multi dimensional view of that particular issue now once fundamentals are clear you are reading news papers you are reading magazines you are referring study materials now in a general perspective how you should move in order to develop a good writing skill when i'll be completing your fundamentals part afterwards i'll be starting with the topics related to mains wherein which requires developing a good writing skill i told you also that questions in the mains are such that a general student also without having an economics background also can write answers related to economic questions i mean you need to give an economic perspective to that issue also so when we are writing something on garibi or something on berozgari or something on inflation we need to have economic insights about those particular topics so i cannot simply give my opinion india mein most of the time yaad rakhna is particular subject mein ki sirf apni opinion mat dena most of the time india mein sab log opinion hi dete hai apna bina mange opinion milta hai please do not give too much importance if you are answering the method and methodology being adopted by india in order to curb poverty so if you are mentioning one point you need to justify it as to why you are writing so if i say that india is passing through a critical phase of as far as unemployment and i am suggesting that government need to emphasize too much on skills reskilling up skilling so i need to answer also 
वाई हाउ अप स्किलिंग री स्किलिंग कैन मेक आवर इंडियस इंडियन लेबर फोर्स एम्प्लॉयबल सिंपली बाय राइटिंग विल नॉट डू आई नीड टू जस्टिफाई सो अगर मैं बोलू इंडिया में क्या कहते हैं उनका बेटा अच्छा है या उनकी बेटिया अच्छी नहीं है हम इतना बोलकर और लगता है कि हमने जजमेंट पास कर दिया दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड इन इकोनॉमिक्स इकोनॉमिक्स रिक्वायर्स दैट इफ यू आर सेइंग दैट एक्स इज गुड और नॉट गुड यू नीड टू जस्टिफाई द रीजन वाई यू आर सेइंग सो एंड इफ यू कैन नॉट गिव रीजन यू नीड टू हैव data facts and figures and most of the time justification needs facts and figures if i if i am saying in my answer that india jan employment has increased rate of unemployment in india has increased i need to justify it by the recent government data as to why i am saying this so facts figures becomes very important in economics in order to justify your opinion or justify your perspective to so generally aap log dekhte hain ki uh, when you will be traveling by trains you can guess best economist in india lo kaise kaise baatein karte modi ji ne to aisa nahi kiya ye galat hai unko kya kiya kya nahi kiya unko puri information bhi pata nahi hai but dekhte hain lo kaise discuss karte hain at times they will fight also my dear friends i'll tell you when after 6 months or 1 year when i'll be going through different topics the way you will be discussing today about a particular issue and the way you will be discussing um, about a particular issue 6 months or 8 months down the line take my words there will be lot of changes in the perspective the way you discuss and that's what make a individual is smart enough that we of discussion attracts crowd near you people start respecting your words each and every word which will be quoting aap dekhte ho ki bahut baar train mein kya hota hai kuch log discuss karte hain bahut log annoyed bhi ho jate hain ki yaar kya mad because those are discussions not on not based on i mean very judgments not based on values not based on facts not based on uh, figures not based on holistic information jo bhi aaya bol diya virat kohli acha nahi khelta hai apne kabhi bat nahi pakda but virat kohli ko criticize kar to hum kar sakte hai bhai but aap nahi kar sakte hain jab aap likhenge we need to justification is very very important nahi to kya hoga ki aap simply opinion dene wale batai aap tomorrow will be get, will be becoming an ias officer aapki opinion se district chalega kya if you are implementing or executing implementing any program or formulating any program for any issue being faced in your area you need to have justification justification is to why why you are implementing what will be its consequence so after assessment then only you can implement similarly i will tell you there will be different questions regarding agriculture regarding inclusive growth regarding investment models regarding different issues being faced by indian economy in mains so please i mean you need to refer economic survey you need to refer budget documents you need to refer different reports of the government of different ministries of government of india and i will tell you also how you can write facts and figures in order to support or justify your answer so these all these answers writing practice that i'll be taking sincerely on a different platform for you all called indian economic mentoring program under these since economics i know it difficult and that's why this extra efforts is being taken up at this institute in order to involve the students in order to improvise the students so that they can write good answers can secure good marks in mains so this is about writing practice i'll tell you after six months down the line uh six months down the line when you will be completing your fundamentals when we'll be starting mains uh part 
So start writing few things. And to, today also, I'll tell you, let's say we started with national income. We started with national income. And you have got, uh, you are reading that particular topic from the book. So simply, I told you now, the way you will be reading and writing, you keep a notebook, you keep a pen with you. And after reading that particular uh, topic from a particular textbook or paragraph from a particular topic, you please think over it and write in your notebook. That will develop your writing skill. आप देखना आप पहली बार लिख कर देखना और मैं फिर बता रहा हूं आपको बार बार यही बोल रहा हूं कि एट मंथ्स के बाद जाकर आप लिखना आप देखना कि उसमें चेंज है कि नहीं आई कैन वेट ऑन एट इन माई सब्जेक्ट देर विल नॉट मैनेज चेंज द वे यू आर राइटिंग टूडे द वे यू आर थिंकिंग टूडे एंड द वे यू विल बी थिंकिंग एंड राइटिंग आफ्टर एट मंथ्स आई कैन वेट ऑन इट वही बिकॉज आई नो the way i'll be moving forward with you the last part i want to tell you that i want your cooperation cooperation means let's say today i discuss with you all national income what i'll be expecting that ki jitna maine padhaya you go back your hostel your home go through each and everything what i have discussed with you today tick out certain doubts which you come across ask me tomorrow and close that particular topic for now don't ever make a strategy ki bhai aaj hum pehle notes banate hain एक दिन ऐसा आएगा जहां पर शुभ मुहूर्त होगा जहां पर मैं पढ़ाई करना शुरू करूं और एक दिन से मैं नोट्स बना ऐसा नहीं होता यूपीएस में वो अच्छा दिन कभी नहीं आता इवन इफ यू क्रॉस थर्टी सेवन और थर्टी वो कभी नहीं आएगा अच्छा दिन आज ही का दिन है समझ में आ रहा दिस इज द बेस्ट डे विच यू हैव गॉट बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी विच यू हैव गॉट टूडे सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू कि इफ आई हैव टॉट यू समथिंग ऑन इन्फ्लेशन गो एंड रीड द टेक्स्ट बुक गो एंड रीड द स्टडी सोर्स विच आई टोल्ड टोल्ड टू यू गो एंड स्टडी द नोट्स विच आई गिवेन टू यू रीड बिफोर यू गो टू बेड मार्क द डाउट्स एंड रीड इन सच ए फैशन दैट यू आर नॉट रिक्वायर टू रीड इट अगेन If you have any doubt, come in the class next time. Clear it, and that topic is closed for now. So you please go through this fashion. It's not only about economics; it's about other subjects also. If you are political science, if you are studying geography, then you need to always have this in mind. That today's topic, we will go back and study it completely before going to bed. क्लोज इट फॉर नाउ अगर कुछ डाउट होता है तो नेक्स्ट क्लास आई बी आस्किंग एंड फॉर नाउ फॉर फर्स्ट रीडिंग फॉर फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई मीन दिस टॉपिक नीड टू बी क्लोज डोंट एवर आप एक दिन निकालना कि अभी मैं क्लास अटेंड करता हूं एक दिन ऐसा आएगा जब मैं क्या करूंगा कि उसका नोट्स बनाऊंगा फिर एक दिन ऐसा आएगा कि जब मैं वहां पर पढ़ना शुरू करूंगा पता चला कि ट्वेंटी वन से शुरू किए थर्टी सेवन आ गया और कोई दिन नहीं आया याद रखना कि आज 2021 ट्वेंटी वन हो ट्रैफिक कम है आज तुम लोग नेफ्यू एंड नीसेस हो नहीं तो क्या होगा अंकल और अंट बनकर जब पेपर दोगे ना तो बहुत डिफिकल्ट होगा तुम एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग यू कि आज ट्रैफिक कम है समझ में आ रहा तो ट्रैफिक कम है मेहनत करो और जल्दी निकल जाओ i hope you are matured enough to understand me summarizing what each and everything i discussed with you the overall focus so what will be covering what will be starting 
fundamentals fundamentals and i told you the topics also so the first day when we will be taking forward i expect you that you will be carrying your ncrt books with you understood ncrt book a separate notebook need to be kept for economics economics mein jo bhi likhna hai usi mein likhna i do not want that you are holding a notebook jis par tum khichdi likhte understood and that will be your notebook that will be your complete notes there each and everything you need to write in that notebook only so we'll be starting first of all fundamentals i do not want i'll be in the class i can ask any student in the class to talk about a bit on any set of current affairs or current news you need to answer main ye nahi expect karunga whether you are right or not right let it be but then i expect you that at least you are able to you are having information related to that development or not at least aapko itna pata hai na ki aisa kuch hua hai ki nahi i am not expecting that you should know each and everything of that particular current event what i will be enforcing you that you please make it a habit of reading newspapers and magazines so in the class i me ask overall in the class i follow i'll be coming out with question answer session you please you can ask me uh, any question which will be uh, which you are interested in asking uh in the class a 10 minute policy last 10 minute policy is there so let's say i discuss i am discussing with you uh, on national income so in the last 10 minute i can ask anyone about any term or any issue from any set of students and most of the time i ask to only those students to whom i found during the session not very sincere so whether you like or don't like that's what is the approach which i follow in order to ensure that my students are sincerely sitting and trust me by being casual you cannot clear your face i may be harsh to you ki sir aap aisa is stage mein kya aise kar rahe ho but then agar main apne aap se honest hona chahta hu to mujhe karna hai and i have been paid i need to be honest to each and every rupee penny which i will be on so this is i told you the motive also that why this last 10 minute policy is there the last 10 minute policy is there and i ask generally to only students to whom i find that they are not i mean sincere during the class during the session so keeping a separate notebook coming with ncrt i can ask about any current news or in accordance in the indian economy mentoring program jo sunday ko main kuch extra lunga aapke sath to wahan par from july onwards i'll be telling you july onwards i'll be taking up i mean issues based on indian economy which comes under current affairs understood here so this overall what i'll be focusing upon that you are understanding the concepts you are developing a good writing skills good analytical skills you are having day to day updation about current affairs also and i mean apart from it uh, i'll ensure that whether you are able to apply this set of knowledge when you will be reading news papers that's what will be the focus so now i am opening the session for you all and i want each one of you to ask at least one question aisa to nahi hai ki you know economics ki aapke paas question hi nahi so anything any query any discussion i'll be more than happy 
to answer you all. Those students who are online, offline, they can answer, they can question, they can ask their questions, and I can answer their query. Yes, you were back. Yes. Uh, and first of all, I want to ask here uh, the approach. I'm very happy that you were asking, but why you were such debating throughout the session? Not that much focused. I mean, don't do the next time. Uh, definitely, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, the topics I think you uh, you did not get. I told you all the topics which I'll be covering. Each and every topic uh, I mentioned. I mean, at large, most of the topics I told you that I'll be covering. See, my approach is that. अप्रोच के बारे में भी आप थोड़ा सा सोचोगे तो मैंने बता ही दिया कि इन इकोनॉमिक्स माय ओवरऑल अप्रोच विल बी दैट आई विल बी ट्राइंग टू आई मीन फोकस अपॉन कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी बिकॉज इन इकोनॉमिक्स व्हाट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज कंसेप्ट्स सो लार्जली कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी इज व्हाट आई विल बी फोकसिंग अपॉन वंस योर कंसेप्ट्स आर क्लियर ना आई मीन आई विल टेल यू I mean, it becomes very easy for you to go through new papers, magazines, and you can refer anything, and you will be able to develop the insights about that particular uh, topic, that particular terms and terminology. Understood? So, initial considering the topic to be subject to be technical, subject to be bit difficult as compared to other subjects. I'll be largely focusing upon sixty percent of the time. Sixty percent of the total lectures will be allotted. For developing your concept, developing your insights, in order to strengthen your thought process, in order to develop your analytical skill, uh, I told you all that. I mean, this will not only be a theoretical demonstration, but at the same time, applications of the same will. I'll be discussing when I'll be taking up current sessions. Let's say today I'll be discussing. Today I'm discussing about something on inflation. And if I am talking about demonstrating theoretical part of inflation, unless and until I discuss with you all what is the state of inflation in the world today, I mean the topic is not complete. So the application part of these theoretical demonstrations, when we'll be talking about, I mean the state of inflation the in the world today, what are the Federal Reserve Bank is doing? What is the state of the RBI? What is the state of European Central Bank in order to curb price? So that's what I'm trying to uh, trying to apply the theory related to inflation. Uh, in order to resolve the problem or issue being faced by global economy today in terms of high price rise, so not only theoretical de demonstration altogether. In order to increase your analytical or application part, I'll be correlating all these th theories with the current developments or day-to developments, so that I mean, so as to I mean, broaden your thought process and developing your insights more. Understood? And this is not only about a particular topic. You will find that in each and every topic. I mean, application part, analytical part will be, I mean, uh, focused more. And I simply, I told you that I'll be less focusing upon factual part, descriptive part, because I know that my students know uh, English very well, and uh, by reading those uh, study material, they can understand that. I, my more focus will be developing your analytical thinking, critical thinking. Understood? Because the demand of this particular subject is like this only. Understood. So let's see. Uh, today, if our exchange rate has, uh, I'm teaching you something on uh, appreciation and depreciation. This is theoretical demonstration. जहाँ पर मैंने बता दिया कि how do currency depreciates? What do you mean by one dollar eighty one or one dollar eighty two? But tell me, as a teacher, when you are preparing for your BSc, I should also tell you that what is the current state of exchange rate? In India today, if our currency has appreciated today, what does it means to the exporter and what does it mean to the importers? What does it mean to Indian economy? So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to align these theoretical demonstrations with the current to current day to day developments in the Indian foreign exchange market as of date today. Understood? So this is the approach, and this is the approach. 
I, I shall not say that I should follow or I follow. This is the approach I follow in order to meet the requirements of or meet the expectations of UPSC. Understood here? So that's what I told you. I told you earlier also, and I'm telling him also that the reason why I am going through or I'll be going through fundamentals concepts is only to make you to develop you in such a way that today your concepts are clear. Tomorrow you will start applying those concepts in any. my students and in the last 70 to 18 years i have experienced that the one student though he is average today he becomes extraordinary tomorrow by having a consistent and continuous efforts don't ever think that you are you do not you are not having a good understanding of english you are not having uh, a, uh, you are not from a con convent school uh, you not have a convent school background i mean tell me uh, i must tell you that for upsc it does not matter a lot for upsc what matters is that from day one what efforts you have made what efforts you have taken work hard and work hard in such a fashion that you bring a smiles to your parents and that's what is the best gift you can give it to them then there are certain things which i want to tell you apart from economics for your general insights yaad rakhna ki everybody is facing problem tumhare dad mom ne kaha hoga ये कर लो तो तुम्हारे प्रॉब्लम खत्म हो जाएंगे प्रॉब्लम खत्म नहीं होते टू वेरी टू बी वेरी रियलिस्टिक बचपन में जो इनोसेंस था तभी आई मीन यू आर नॉट हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम बट बाद में द डे यू ग्रो प्रॉब्लम बढ़ते ही सो आई विल टेल यू व्हेन यू आर हियर टू डू समथिंग गुड प्लीज डू नॉट 
I mean, carry the problems being faced by your family for which you do not have any control over it. Dadi ji bimar hai, dada ji bimar hai. Aap yaha par ho, na pad rahe ho, na kuch kar rahe ho. Aur tum dada ji ka kuch care bhi nahi kar sakte. You cannot provide a solution to it also. So don't waste your time unnecessarily. Be an ICE officer. And then you can take care of all the problems being faced by dada ji and dada ji. So don't unnecessarily carry problems. I mean, when I'm sitting here, I'm also facing certain problems. I do have certain problems, but then we need to carry forward for what we are here. And we need to carry it forward sincerely. The next important point, which you need to keep in mind that You yourself are extraordinary. The most important thing is that aapne abhi apni value samjha nahi hai. You do have a unique identity. You do have unique set of values, unique set of characteristics. Simply aapko usko polish karne ki jorurat hai, nothing else. And when you will be policing it through your hard work, so definitely you will get, you will, you will be signing. So work hard, be with good people. Don't be with people जो जहाँ पर तुमको उनके बात आने से तुमको क्या होता है demotivation होता है, because there will be certain people in your relatives. आज तुमने UPSC शुरू किया, वो छः महीने के बाद भी बोलेंगे result क्या हुआ? You will be also meeting certain people at your home. Or amongst your relatives, जो कि आकर तुम्हारे पास आएंगे और तुमको देखकर ही बोलना शुरू उनके बच्चे भी तो तैयारी कर रहे थे नहीं हुआ तुम इतनी मेहनत कर रहे हो ऑटोमेटिकली उनकी बातें सुनकर यू विल बी डीमोरलाइज और तुम हीरो से जीरो बन गए कंप्लीटली योर एनर्जी लेवल इज डाउन टू जीरो प्लीज डू नॉट बी विद दोज पीपल बी विद गुड पीपल बी विद पीपल विद पॉजिटिव थॉट्स विद पॉजिटिव एनर्जी एंड डोंट टेल टू मच your relatives also as to what you are doing. Unko jab IS officer banoge to unko pata chal jayega ki tum ban gaye. Tumko batane ki jorurat bhi nahi padegi. Kyunki agar jada bataoge tumhare liye problem baad mein bahut adhik hogi. Do saal ke baad tumhara jeena muskil ho jayega. Isili I'll tell you uh, be a normal person, individual I start on a very normal way. Don't think too much. Don't think too much on the results. Don't think too much about ki yaar nahi hoga to kya hoga. Abhi tum suru nahi ki aur abhi itna sojne lage. Pahle karke to dekho. Most of the students comes to me ki sir, ye mera plan A hai, plan B kya hoga. मैं बोला कि अभी प्लान ए की तरफ बड़े नहीं प्लान बी की तरफ सोचने लगे इफ यू विल बी सिंसियर इन प्लान ए प्लान बी विल कम आउट ऑफ इट अंडरस्टूड आप समझो कि वन ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट यू आर कमांडिंग यू कैन बी एन एक्सपर्ट इन दैट ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट ओनली सो डोंट थिंक टू मच अबाउट आई मीन प्लान बी Think too much on plan A. नहीं तो plan A भी नहीं मिलेगा और plan B तो गया ही. It's simply like when you are going to getting married, you are not thinking too much about your partner, but you are thinking about too much about I mean relatives or partners. So don't think too much about I mean. Plan B. I know that the students who prepare there are certain concerns, but tell me, dear, which is the fundamental rule is that nothing is secured here. If you'll be good at one subject, you're optional. You can make your living by, I mean, carrying out that particular optional subject. So I know that this will you will be following. And when you'll be following this, definitely 
I mean, things will always be in your favor. And for economics, I promise you all that uh, in economics, you'll have any doubt. I mean, you can come to me and I'll be the first one. I'll be well, I'll be more than happy to help you all. That's what I can say. Any second question? Anyone who is having any question? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, yes. Uh, textbooks there, uh, if you are not con um, if you are not familiar, I mean, comfortable with NCRT, then you can go for Tamil Nadu textbooks also for economics. No doubt about it. See, any textbook which you are comfortable with, you can go through. I mean, contents remain same. I mean, the approach in writing, I mean, makes things easy for you. So if you find that comfortable, then you can go for it. Uh, Tanush, uh, see, uh, we study economics in one go. Uh, or see, revision, uh, not daily, but periodically requires in any subject. So altogether, I mean, when you talk about revision, uh, altogether, it requires a uh, not day-to-day -day revision, but then, I mean, periodical revision requires, let's say, I'll tell you how we'll be going and why, how I'll be doing. I mean, let's say we started with economics uh, next month or probably from next week also. So uh, once we started, so let's say I've started with, I mean, fundamentals, ki economics, kya hota hai, economics ki requirements, kya hoti hai, and that's what we have uh, started. So automatically, the next class where I'll be, let's say uh, next week, I taught you the fundamentals of the economics. And next to next week, I'll be taking up some other topics related to, I mean, fundamentals. So what is required that when you are coming back to class, at least go through, so that there can be a continuum in your thought process also. Understood. So let's see if today I talk, uh, talked about uh, what is uh, required and what is not required for economics. Tomorrow, if I have taught you fundamentals of economics, day after tomorrow, I am adding certain value on fundamentals. So day after tomorrow, when you are coming to class, at least ensure that you can go through, I mean, if sir ne pichle lectures mein kya padaya tha. And trust me, in each and every class, you will be uh, at the end of the class, I'll be telling you that which topic I'll be taking up in the next class. So that when you are coming to the next class, you are mentally prepared as to what you will be taught. Understood? Yes, Tanush, did you get? Tanush. Any more question here? No question is a big question. Any doubt? Ah, you can ask me any doubt also. Yeah. Uh, uh, ah, that's what I mean. In GS paper three, this will be taken by a different expert. Understood? I mean, uh, uh, see, uh, generally the economics part will be taken by me. I mean, different experts will be taking. I mean, those subjects because that uh, that requires a different approach. Understood? So uh, I think Dr. Ramit will be taking up science and technology. That also will be taken by some other expert. Don't worry about it. Uh, Tanus, as of now, I told you during the lectures only no reference book as of now. Uh, we'll be going through any uh, uh, the study material being given by me, the notes given by me to you. Uh, apart from it, uh, you need to go through NCRT. Once you are done with NCRT, once you have commanded over NCRT, then only you can ask me, Tanus, that which reference book uh, you need to uh, refer. I'll not be asking you any reference book in complete to refer, but then I'll be talking. Uh, I'll be telling you few topics from few good books which you can refer, but then that you can only do when you are very much clear with the NCRT. Understood, Tanus?
Any question to you? Yes, at the back. No question. Why did I tell you no question is a big question? Because there are two ways, uh, two, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I'll say, uh, two instances where you ask questions or where you do not ask questions. When you are completely and un have understood, so you'll not ask. And when you have completely not understood anything, then you will not ask. So what's the lie? Thank you. <laughs> uh, any good, any doubt? Up uh, economics may both are yoga na ki sir kya padayenge, kya nahi padayenge, uh, kitna technical hoga. So is a bit doubts hoga na apko ki bahut jada boring hoga kya, bahut jada dry hoga kya. Uh, shall we start reading NCRT now? Yes, you can go for na. So more to abhi hai. Maine bola na. Aaj ka din sabse sugar. Aap log sumurt banate hai na ki aaj aisa karenge ya ek sabtah ke baad history, uske baad geography aisa nahi. Maine kya bolta hai ki each and every day is very auspicious, auspicious to you. I mean, and you can start today considering it to be very auspicious. Aaj kaun din hai? Thursday, Vishnu Bhagwan ka din hai. You can start today. Aur har ek din to koi koi Bhagwan hi rehte the. So don't, I mean, uh, 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 what I want to say, don't make it a plan wherein ki aaj karenge, kal karenge, perso karenge. So aaj kiya, ki aaj phir kya karoge? Say planning karoge aaj. Yes, no question. So I wish you all the best then. And uh, uh, my... Uh, Regards to your parents also for being, uh, have sent you here, uh, having a faith on Unique Academy. And uh, trust me, uh, whatever I have told you, uh, I'll be taking it very seriously. And I want you all to be very serious also during the class. I cannot encourage and do not encourage any type of casual approach. So you need to be very alert also. And considering that's what is required for UPSC. So thank you so much, dear. I mean, 